Hey you guys, Stella's Knife Obsession. Welcome back. I'm super excited about two things today. One is this right here. And the other is this right here. It's from Nars Cases. But let me move the box. Compliments of a very big supporter of the channel, obviously. <laughs> And we're going to open this bad boy first. Uh, what do we have on us today? We have some keys. You know what? I'll show you my keys. Why not? I have this uh, Craftsman nine, uh, 4.5 millimeter wrench. I have this little brass knife that I used to open up mail with, but it needs sharpened. It will barely even go through that anymore. And I have this titanium kind of carabiner type of thing that has a bottle opener. Very handy. Then you have, uh, this is titanium as well. And this little connector and this one is titanium. <laughs> what can I say? I like titanium. And then you have this, this is just stainless steel. But, you know, it's, it comes in handy a lot has a little kind of pro bar, uh, pry bar on there, pro bar, whatever you want to call it, and a little uh, uh, screwdriver. And then you have this little hook for strings and uh, packages and things like that. So let's see if it'll work on this package. Eee! No, let's see if this will work. Ooh, <laughs> it needs sharpened badly, but that's okay. I'm really excited. This is something new for me, you guys. It was super cheap because I think it's a relatively newer company. Um, let's just show you again. It's Nars Cases. Uh, this thing is so cool. It's a carbon fiber case. I got this for $15. It's crazy. They're running really huge specials right now. I'll let you know how I like it, too. Um, now, I don't know if this is actually real carbon fiber or just made to look like it. I'm pretty sure it's not real, but it looks cool nonetheless. Very nice. It seems like pretty good quality. And what we have here is this little fidget type toy thingy that these things are starting to intrigue me so much lately that when I saw this, I couldn't pass it up. They have a bunch of things like this here. Let's just, oh, there we go. So this website has a bunch of things like this and it's all about like gears and things like that. So check it out. Very cool. And it's brass. You, it, it's definitely heavy at like brass is. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. Oh my God, that's so cool, you guys. <laughs> Check it out. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Let's see if I can, uh, let's do it like this. It's like a, like one of those gyro toys. Very cool, very cool. Oh my God, I love it. Ah, uh, like I hear Lefty EDC talking about how he's getting into these fidget toys lately. I feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I keep looking at them and I'm like, no, I don't need something else to become addicted to. No, no, no. But this one, I, I just couldn't pass up. It's so cool. And you can take it apart and put it back together if you need some decompression type of time for yourself. And it's so cool. Oh my God. I found them on Instagram. So if you guys are interested, take a look at their uh, Instagram page. And it's, I think it's just, uh, or you can go to www, um, and they did not ask me to do this or anything, but here's the website if you wanted to go there and visit their page. Very cool stuff. They're selling it on eBay too. But the stuff on eBay, I think, is coming from China, uh, directly from China, so... I, I don't know if it's just another form or like another a person who is legit in their company. I really don't know. So 
I couldn't speak to them. So this one I know for sure it is the actual people that do this, uh, these types of fidget toys, um, gyro toys, whatever you want to call them, because I ordered it direct, uh, directly from them. They kept in contact the whole way. They were very nice. Their customer service was great. So, so far, so good. Very cool little thing. They, uh, they even show you how to dismantle or disassemble it. Dismantle. But, <laughs> cool little thing man <laughs> I love it god I'm addicted I can feel it <laughs> what a cool little case too it's got a little pocket so it doesn't like bump around when you're running I don't know if you jog with your gyro toys in your pocket <laughs> it's a very cool little case all right so let's move on to um supporter of the channel's box here. I'm going to open it from the bottom because I forgot to mark off the other side. So let's use what I'm carrying today, the Pintail by Sabidi. I love this little thing. It's amazing. It's got S30 uh, 35VN too. So s 30 vn Yeah, I can't speak lately, you guys. Yeah, let's go. I'm excited because every time someone sends me a box of knives, it's usually full to the max of bo of knives that I just I want so badly. So it's so nice to be able to get a shot with them and, uh, you know, see if I actually will want them. Wow, this thing's so heavy. I mean, for a small box, it's pretty heavy. Kind of messed up here. I did, not you guys. You guys are never messed up. You're amazing. Forget about it. All right, let's see what we have first. What is this? Oh, it's a real steel. Cool. All right. And this is something that I've been getting into a lot lately. I had just purchased. Oh, he sent me a rocket last time. A rocket. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that, but um, I say rocket. <laughs> so. This is, what is it? Oh, he did say not all of them are going to be, uh, oh, this is a real steel, though. Ooh, ooh, that's smooth. Oh, my God. I had no idea that they had such great access style locks. This is as smooth as that Griptilian of Android Goats that I played with. This is just as smooth. Oh, my God. What is this? Hold on a second. It's got to say in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh. Well, it doesn't say. Uh. Shoot. Wow, this thing is nice. It has VG10 steel, which I am a big fan of. Look at that. The spine is like very nice. Cool thumb studs. These studs or uh, this lever. It's nice and grippy. It's got this like micro texture there. Let's see, what is this though? It's Ivan D. Braganet's design. But what is it? I love his little designer's mark nice pocket clip very nice look at that I'm assuming that's reversible stainless steel it looks like a really good pocket clip actually huh let's see if this one says what it is I bet you any money he wrote a letter but it's on top because I opened it from the bottom um, Oh, look, a little bead, a little tied pee, bead. It's a uh, real steel bead, too. It has their little logo on it. That is nice. Nice. All right. Well, if I get to the bottom and it tells me what it is, well, then there we go. 
Otherwise, I will have to fill in the blanks later on. I'll make sure you guys know what it is, though. I promise. Oh, it's probably on the side of the box. Duh. Oh, it's the Hugin or H U G I N N. Yeah. Wow, he just got this and told me about it. He, uh, it looks like he used the crap out of it already, so it must be pretty good. <laughs> awesome. That is a nice knife. Wow. All right, another CJRB. Um, oh, ooh, ooh. -hoo. This bad mama jamma right here. Oh, what is this called, though? I forgot. Um, look at that beast. Ooh, look at that blade, you guys. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Whoa. There. It was too busy on that, that scene for you, or that screen for you guys, so... Yeah, he sent me this because he meant to send it when he sent this. Now, I'm going to do like a, a comparison of these two knives, but already I can see how much is so similar. And it look, this one just came out. I just can't think of the name, you guys. But I will make sure that I put it on the screen. So, wow, it's freaking smooth. Stuck my finger too, <laughs> too far in the hole. <laughs> wow. Great action. It's a big hole, so pretty much anybody could get their meat hooks in there, I'm sure. You can use it with a thumb. Flipper tab. I'd probably do a flipper tab to lead on this one. Oh, yeah. This one works so nicely with that deployment hole. That's nice. This is an excellent candidate for a flipper to lead. I would in a heartbeat if I were, if I were you. But uh, this one is kind of like... A hand hatchet man this thing is a beast I mean that thing's a beast too but uh, I mean this thing is even bigger so it's like this is the tigress I know that I'm pretty sure anyway Wow but the action you guys Wow all right this is just an unboxing sorry guys I just wanted to show you that real quick this is so cool I'm excited about that well I'm excited about probably every single piece in this box it's uh what's this here it's a kubi oh he's got another vagrant very cool this is oh it's the uh different blade shape oh god that's nice oh my god you guys that's amazing max the name i always butcher um, don't feel alone, Max. I do it to everybody. I'm an equal opportunity name destroyer. That is a nice blade. Look at that. He sent this to me because I was so curious about the uh, different blade shapes. I will do a comparison with these. And uh, there's a there's another one. And I so yeah, we'll just do that. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right. What's next? QSP coming up. All right. A platypus. Yes. I love anything by uh, QSP. So, yeah. That's uh, one of the things that I really love about QSP. They always give you a certificate of authenticity. And it usually tells you the, um, you know, all the, the specs on the knife, which is pretty cool. So there's the, this is a big knife, as you can see. Sandvik steel, uh, God, it's well over eight inches. G10, and then you know it's got that little stuff going on the back there. Very cool. All right, awesome. Let's see. I've never seen a. Oh my God, it's big. <laughs> this thing is big. Ooh, that blade shape reminds me of the workhorse. I can't think of who does it, but. Oh, let's feel it. Oh my god. <laughs> the oh, I can't do the reverse flick, but man, QSP's action. If I were making a knife, I would I I know I've said it before, but my god, I would have uh QSP be my OEM. It would be between them and Kaiser. They both have their own drop shutty action. There's just something about QSP's action that is so incredibly smooth. This thing is so nice. 
very cool. This is a workhorse and a half, and it's definitely aptly named the uh, platypus, by the way. <laughs> it's It's got an odd look to it, but I would, uh, I would take this in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, let's see if we can use the fuller. Ah, come on. Eh, a little bit. I suck at that, though. At that one, anyway. Oof. Let's see. Ooh, it's a little loose in there, so... Ooh, man, it's so loose. I mean, it's so, so smooth. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's move on. Sorry, guys. Let's see. All right, we've got... Ah, an artisan. Yes. This is the... 1841p like that means anything to me <laughs> i don't like when they just make name oh it's the the uh shark oh ooh, god that's nice oh. oh my god what is this is this the great white i think this is the great white wait Oh, and it's made by, or designed by Gavco. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at that liner. It's like midnight blue. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. All right, I just got a flashlight. So you can see that. They did like really dark blue. Ooh, they thought about all of the details. That's what you're supposed to do. And I've never had anything by Gavco in my hands. So this is this is nice. It has this uh, late detent, but that does not bother me at all. Oh my god, this thing is nice, you guys. I believe this is the Great White. I really do. Something like that. I do this so that there's a contrasting background for you guys. Uh, someday I'll have my crap together and do what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh, this thing is incredible. It's so smooth. I am not disappointed. It's very thin. Very, very thin. What an interesting shape blade. Oh my gosh. I got a piece of paper so I could do a little, a little cut test here. Okay, that's sharp. Since I'm going to do them all, I'm only doing one swipe. Yeah, so that way... Uh, you know what? I'll just leave them out. I dropped all the innards. Let's just do that. I'm going to leave them out so that I can uh, do what I'm going to do after I do the unboxing. Okie dokie, Smokies. Okay, so... Well, this one needs a little strop. I bet I could bring that right back. I'll throw it on the strap a couple passes, and I'm sure it will be just fine. Ooh, I love the Kubi Vagrant. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this one's sharp. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's very sharp. Let's check this, the great white out. Ooh, very sharp. This one came in, like, white, too. So you can get the uh, this version and the white version, but I'm not sure if there are any additional versions. Very sharp. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's no surprise, though. I think that, for the most part, Artisan comes pretty sharp. In my experience, excuse me. So, this is an S... This is a Citivine. Citivian. Whatever it is. I used to have one... Um, and surprisingly this one is it looks pretty well made um but i i i got one of these last year it was like early last year it was winter and uh the screws came all the way through and were scratching the blade and i asked i was trying to get resolve resolve the issue that all the issues i had with this uh uh, knife, uh, knife, but um, they were not having it, and um, they treated me like complete crap. And I think it's just basically, it's a, there's a huge um, language barrier 
So I think that they feel a certain way about us. And I think, so they already have this, this opinion formed in their minds. I think that they just think I'm trying to rip them off because that's exactly how they treated me. And uh, so I just, I didn't even deal with it. I, it was like 16 bucks. So I sold it and uh, I was done with it because the screws came all the way through. I sent them all the pictures they needed for the proof. They acted like I was lying. I don't know. I've just had such bad experience, but you have to, you have to take into consideration. It was when I was dealing directly with them and they just, <laughs> everything, all those issues are solved when they pick someone to sell their stuff in the States, you know? So the thing with the petrified fish, see, it's sharp. I mean, it's a great looking blade. I like it. It's got a, like a little choil that you can, you can choke up on there. Let's see. Um, their axis style lock functions nicely. Um, this is some pretty heavy duty micarta. Reminds me of the, uh, Tucson micarta that they used to use a long time ago. But anyway, uh, the end all be all was I stopped buying, uh, knives from them as per usual because I don't like to support people that treat me like that. But, um... Now that they sell here in the States, I have zero problems going going ahead and purchasing from a dealer in the States. Uh, we have Hogue up next, which I'm excited about because I know what it is. Oh, no. I did not expect that. It is the Mini Ritter. Oh, my God. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm just so happy to be able to try one out. Oh, that is cool. Wow, there's writing in there. Interesting. I don't know if it'll show up on here or not. Uh, looks like Chinese, maybe. I really don't know. But it's cool. <laughs> it's cool either way. Oh, yeah, I love the whole gritter. I, I have had my hands on the griptilian the regular and the mini and i just did not care for it the handles were so cheap it was unreal i thought this is what they're selling in america and for two hundred dollars or it was a hundred and something by that time and it was at my old job but i couldn't believe that's what they call uh american made and it was total junk the handles were the steel of course is not the axis lock was okay but i didn't see anything special about it this this is nice that handle is it's stylish it feels like good material um it's got a lot of texturing and i, I like the clip it's just a little big for this knife <laughs> doug ritter yeah very cool man I am excited about this. This thing looks brand new. 20 CV. Yep. Good. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. So anyway, I mean, I don't mean to be offensive. I'm just stating my own opinion. Um, I, I don't mean to, you know, offend anyone or anything like that. Um, don't take me the wrong way. Oh, well, I'll be if it's not the Kubi Iris. I used to have this exact same knife. I love this thing. It has tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, action. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say on here, but I am almost positive this is the Kubi Iris. E-R-I-S. It has that bead blasted blade. Uh, nice titanium uh, pocket clip. Very nice. This is this is the definition of a good clip, a uh, milled titanium clip. Very, very nice. I forgot how nice this thing is. Mine used to fall shut so fast. This one has a more controlled closing. I like that. Wish I never sold it. It'd be funny if it was, if this was the one I sold. I would know if it was too, because mine had a little hiccup in the uh, micarta right here. So. But it's not there, so I know this is not the one that 
I sold on eBay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be I'll be happy to carry that guy again. I love that knife. Very good knife. And we've got a Kaiser. Oh ho 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 my god, you guys. It's a fancy one. I'm so excited about this one. This oh my heart. Oh my heart. Oh here it goes. This is a really beautiful knife. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. This is an Elijah Isham Mini Therium. Oh, oh my god. This is nice. Wow. Oh my god, look at that. That is so beautiful so stylish this is some crazy carbon fiber look at the backspacer oh my god it's so nice oh yeah you just got to get your finger placement right on this uh, opening slot and you're good oh this is another prime candidate for a flipper delete oh, oh my god it's great this thing is oh it's so good I can't see people with large hands liking this, but oh my gosh, it's very cool. Oh, that is a nice knife. I don't know if it'll cut. It looks like it's been uh, very well loved, which I'm happy about. Oh, it's just fine. Wow. That is Kaiser for you, though. Oh my gosh. I'm leaving this out. <laughs> Where's the rest of the stuff? Okay, I guess that was it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just noticing, though. Elijah Isham's um, Maker's Mark or Designer's Mark is usually different than that. I wonder if this was post his passing. I wonder. Beautiful knife. All right, let's move on, you guys. Oh. Leave it out. Let's see here. We got another Hogue. I was expecting a couple. Now, I think this is the one he uh, let me borrow initially. Yeah, this is uh, the one I borrowed last time. Uh, that he lent me last time. And then I'm going to do a comparison with the ones that I have. I don't know if I still... I still have a lot of his knives. <laughs> so, he's been so gracious. And then this, I think, is Magna Cut. Yes. So, yeah, there was a, a crazy sale on the whole Deco with Magna Cut. So, that's insane because it was like 120 bucks. Oh, my God. And, of course, I couldn't get on that bandwagon because I, <laughs> I got nothing. Let's see what this one... Oh my god, they're both sharp. Those are going to be so awesome to compare. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's cool. Oh my goodness, everybody was going crazy over the whole Deca in Magna Cut. And can you blame them? <laughs> no, you can't. Because forget about it. Magna Cut, I haven't even had, I just hear about it and how amazing the stuff is and how. I see makers using it constantly now, so it's the new Super Steel. Um, it's been around a couple, I think two years already though. Maybe even longer, I'm not sure. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my God, you guys, forget it. The day is over. <laughs> I'm stopping right now. Because look at this beast. Oh my God. God, it's a Jelly Dairy too. I have been wanting one of these so bad. Holy crap. Oh. oh my God. I had no idea it was that big. Oh my God. Oh my God, the day is over. Oh my God. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is the variant I wanted to. Oh my God. I forgot the name of this thing though. Oh, look at that. Holy guacamole. 
Oh my god. Hold on. Let's see if the name is on the box. Why don't they help with that? <laughs> Crap, I can't remember the name. Darn it. I'll have to look it up for you guys. I'm sorry. Oh my god, you guys. This thing is one amazing beast. I freaking love this. Oh yeah, that's... jimping nice lanyard option there I even love that the the hardware is gold I'm a sucker for gold on a knife oh my god it's s35 VN and it's numbered this is number 200 oh my god hmm Okay, it's just an unboxing. Sorry, guys. Oh, my God. When I get blown away like that, I can't help it. All right, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. Now I feel like anything I open from here on out isn't going to be cool. <laughs> it's like it has a lot to live up to now. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's the Kaiser Justice. I've heard a lot about this and what I want to feel right now is the action because I've heard so many people say the action is phenomenal on the Justice. Let's try the thumb studs first. Awesome. Oh my god, they weren't lying. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I love that. Very cool. Is that uh, titanium? I don't think so. Oh, it is. Wow. Got a titanium pocket clip. How cool is that? Oh, and then it's so smooth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's put this bad boy in here. Get this out of the way and take a little slice at the paper. Uh, let's try this one out here. Yep. Oh yeah. Doesn't ever let you down. I love Kaiser. Come on. Okay. I think I'm going to be doing a little maintenance for for uh, Richard this time. Man, look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. I see something. Oh, two things that I've been so curious about. This is one that I want so badly. It is the QB, QB Nobel. This is the Kubi Noble. It is so cool. Just a cool shape. Uh, it has this really beautiful, like, sheep's foot, modified sheep's foot, drop point, spear point, whatever you want to call it. Hollow grind. Beautiful blade. Um, and then uh, palm swell. I love a good palm swell. You can choke up easily on this guy, too. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, this is awesome. Wow, the clip is interesting. I, I don't think I ever knew it was like that. I love the the um, milled out a spot on the thing for it, but it's not reversible. Oh. That needs a little love. I'll strop it. It might just need clean, though. This one is interesting because the, the, uh, the flipper tab points upward. That way you get the momentum you need to fully deploy it so it doesn't fail. Um, if this flipper tab wasn't pointing upward, if it was just pointing straight back, I guarantee you would easily be able to fail this. But uh, they did the right thing by pointing it upward. Very good thing. Very cute knife. Very cute. I like it. Uh, you can't really... I can't do that finger flicking thing unless there's something there, but... I know people that can. I see them do it on YouTube all the time. And here's an interesting one. <laughs> this one is its super weird. <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, I hear great things about it, though. Uh, but it is the Quatch. And this is the Iron Man edition, I believe. 
I mean, it's got the gold backspacer and the, you know, these scales, the red scales. So this is that micarta that they make that doesn't feel like micarta at all. And this is a, a dock design. Very cool. He has great, great uh, taste. That man designs some beautiful things. This, I feel like, stands out in his collection. If you look at other knives that he makes, man, the action is ridiculous. Uh, the This definitely stands out. This is way different. I have never seen a knife like this. I've never... I, you know, I so you can say that this is a one of a kind to me because it's so unique. It's crazy. I love Doc Designs though. I do. Um, great stuff. I have the October and I love that knife. I would love to get the mini October. Oh, yeah, it's slicey. Very slicey. Very cool. It is a flat grind or saber grind, whatever you want to call it. This is interesting the way they did that. Very cool. I've never seen a blade purposely shaped like that, you know? It's like it looks broken, but it's not. It's very cohesive. <laughs> very weird. <laughs> I like it. Very cool. Let's see. I don't know if he wrote me a note or anything, but I guess I'll find out shortly. I got one thing in a pouch here. It's probably not a, ooh! Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it's the uh, titanium and oh, this is the two uh, two sixty two or something. I'll have to look it up for you guys. Oh my god! Ooh, I used to have the micarta version and I hated it, so I sold it. But it just wasn't for me. I've always wanted this one because the the handle, the ergos on this is are they're phenomenal, and this is no joke this is a large large knife it is I, I know it's over eight inches I know it is the palm swell long design great action oh, I love I love Tucson so much oh yeah no doubt oh yeah I love that you can tell that Richard uses his knives Beautiful knife. Beautiful. I love this. It's gorgeous. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Oh gosh, you guys. It, it drives me insane. I love knives. Wait. Before we get to those, I'm gonna open the rest of the small ones. Alright. Here's one. That may not be. Oh, it's the Beg Lighter button lock. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at it. It's ridiculous. Ooh. That's cool. Pretty sure that's real uh, carbon fiber, too. Man, they do button locks so well. Oh my God, this is the bag lighter two. So, oh, it's got 154 CM, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, this is the bag lighter two. Azel Mite designed it. I love that man. His designs are phenomenal. Oh my God, is that nice. Wow. I have, I have the mini bag lighter. I have the XL button lock, so I, I have some plans for this guy right here. Can't wait. Oh my god, it's nice. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this is the last folding knife, because there's a, a large amount. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. It's the best tech exploit. Oh, it's the special edition. Let's see, can I get that sucker out of there? No, I can't. Darn. Oh my god. Look at that action. Ooh. Oh man, you guys. Oh. Look at that. 
I love Todd Knife and Tool Designs, especially these big ones that they did. They did like a whole line of them for Best Tech. Now I have a Best Tech that I just did. I just dyed the scales on. Um, it's nowhere near as sexy as the knives that I'm used to seeing by him or by, by Todd Knife and Tool. This is super sexy. Oh, and the Ergos. Look at the action. It's so smooth. Oh my god, it's so good, you guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. I can't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I love his pocket clips. They, they work so well, too. But he just... He does this beautiful design and he'll usually get it balanced so perfectly in between that it doesn't apply any pressure on the uh, uh, block bar oh my god Ooh, this is so much better than I thought the action would be I mean I didn't even know what to think honestly all I know is what I have and I have the Shodan and it's awesome Dare I say I like this one better? Oh my god. I feel like I'm cheating on my knife. <laughs> this thing, I like this better. <laughs> oh man. I'll have to do a comparison between the two. Oops. Oh yeah. It is sharp. You can feel it's so smooth when it goes through the paper. There's no snags. You don't feel anything. It's so nice. Best Tech is killing it. I love Best Tech. Their quality is is uh, super super good. Terrific quality. I will keep this in its pouch for now. That is an expensive knife, and I wouldn't want to. All right, we're going to start something new here. Check it out. It's I'm not going to be carrying these because I'm not that kind of chick. I don't carry, ooh, it's a Condor. This, he told me this was an older one, but that um, he wanted me to, you know, take a look at it. So, uh, Condor makes some great uh, fixed blade knives. I covet their knives pretty often, actually, because the, the way they do treatments on their blades is so attractive that I, I can't help myself. I have to look. This could use a sharpening, but because obviously he's used it, which is great, because you got to use your stuff, man. Um, then this is soft. It's very soft wood. It's very comfortable in the hand. And I could see you getting a really nice grip on that. Little lanyard back there. Some red liners. Very good. Ooh, great jumping. It's very sharp. But it doesn't chew your finger up, really. If, unless you have delicate skin, because uh, that's not a joke. That jimping is for real. <laughs> it's no, it's no joke. It's for real. Wait, let's do this Kubi real quick. Big old Kubi. I'm really loving um, some of the. Wow, that's a big. That is cool. That's awesome. I'm really loving. Um, some fixed blades that I see lately. This especially. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> this. I think this is. I want to say the hippo, but I'm probably wrong. Um, man, is that gorgeous? <laughs> Wait one second. This is beautiful. I fear that the uh, the USPS may have thrown these boxes around a little bit because. Check it. Check out how smashed in that is. It's so obvious I didn't put it back together the way it was, but as you can see, they don't, they're not very, I don't know. I'm not very happy with the USPS right now, quite honestly. But, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, let's check it out. This one has a hollow grind. Look at that beautiful mirror finish. My God, that's gorgeous. Satin flats, mirror finish on the 
oh my gosh, hollow and flat grind. Gorgeous. All right. It's not that sharp, but I've seen worse. D2. I've seen this handle on something else. I just don't know what it is. And I, cause I think that, uh, Kubi makes a couple of knives that are, uh, the same exact knife, but one is a fixed blade. One is a folder. I don't know which one this is. We'll look it up. I'll get that information to you guys. Very great retention. Not a problem with that whatsoever. Awesome belt buckle thing or belt hooker upper thingy. Hooker upper thingy. I uh, obviously I'm not a <laughs> fixed blade kind of gal because I don't even know how to work that. I'll play with it another time. <laughs> we have another something or other. Ooh, another Kubi. It's got a skull crusher. Nice uh, uh, stone wash with a if there's a ever so slightly like the a secondary tip right there. This is a I could see this being a great hunter's knife. It's a little heavy for like hiking and stuff like that, but I could see this being an amazing hunter's knife. Skinning animals and things. Awesome. Yeah great taco style um, sheaths very I mean I'm gonna have to figure out how you work those clasps because obviously I, I'm not catching on too quick I've got another one Let's see ooh oh this is that Kukri I love this sucker ooh look at that that's sexy <laughs> oh my god I love it and D2, which is fine. It's a it's a great steel. It holds a, a very nice edge. And Kubi does D2 very well. They use that uh, Chinese D2. And Chinese D2 is probably the best D2 on the planet. Wow. Nice. Ooh, I like that. My hand fits it so well. Ooh, that's nice. Whew. Oh, my God. I like that. Very good. Nice. Oh, I'm going to test out the blade edge here. Oh. Yeah, that's nice and sharp. Very nice. Did I test out the exploit? I don't think I did. I don't know. Let me just check it out. Oh my gosh. Oof. Yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh, that's nice. So nice. Oh my god, I'm in love. Man, is that nice. All right. We have, oh, there's actually two other folders in here hiding. <laughs> we have another um, uh, Tucson. Oh, wow, those are some thick carbon fiber handles. They're very comfortable. M390? This is a, I think this is an older one. I have to look up the number to this. I think it's the 176. Six or 74 I cannot remember I'm so terrible with that Ugh, I can't reverse flick it oh I can't use those thumb studs at all it's definitely dialed in for the uh, flipper tab that's about it <laughs> I'd have to adjust a couple things this thing is light as a feather it's got a titanium backspacer though really nice lanyard option uh, really nice deep carry pocket clip. Is this a Mazwan Mokhtar by any chance? No, it's a Wong design. All right, I saw the ball on the on the pocket clip there, and that's indicative of a uh, Mazwan Mokhtar's um, style. I'll have to clean this up, and we'll we'll look, take a look at it. Oh, it's still that's crazy. It's uh, it's just got some you know like uh, glue or something on it. 
just needs to be cleaned up and I'll be more than happy to do that. Ooh, definitely different. I love that handle, it's very pretty. All right, all right. Oh, and another Drake. This is a different variant though. My understanding is this one, and I can tell already, it's much smaller than the orange one that he actually gave me last time he sent me a box. Uh, again, it's a Max Tkachik. Um, I should just start saying Max, Max Butcher last name. Oh, this one's nice. Um, I'm not real into this sort of digicam, um, but I love... It doesn't take away from the Drake. The Drake is a beautiful knife. Uh, this thing is so good in the hand. Uh, I have the one that's much longer and it has contoured scales so that one feels tremendous in your hands too. It has a little bit of a choil that you can use for choking up but I wouldn't suggest it if you have large hands. Very nice knife though. We'll do who wore it better with this guy. Yeah, very cool. Oh yeah. Cool, cool. And last but not least at all is the Kaiser Baby. I've been wanting to try this sucker. Ooh, that's cool. Look at this one is so much easier. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, you can hear that. The tension is terrific. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I love Kukri style blades so much. What a great... Oh, my God. This would be a great skinner. Yeah, this would be great for skinning. Let me see if I can do a little that test. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love... Oh, my God. This thing is razor sharp. It's sharper than any other knife in this pile. Oh, wow. Crowning on the spine. It's very nice. I wouldn't use this for trying to start fires because it, you need like a 90 degree angle, angle to do that. So great uh, texturing of uh, this jimping right here. 154 CM, an Azomite. Love his designs. Very small handle, but it's... It fits me perfectly. Great sharpening choil too. Wow. You can get a really nice purchase on this grip. Very nice. I love it. It's better than I thought. <laughs> wow. Let me see. Uh, I don't think I tried this one. Oh yeah. Oh man, Kubi's good with that too. There's, I mean, they're to the point where I know exactly what to expect from Kubi. I love them. I really do. They're great. And then he put these in there. I'm hoping I get to keep them, <laughs> but I'll definitely be asking. That's a cool sticker. This is awesome, too. Look at that. I have that exact knife. Kombu, one of the best. Very cool. QSP. Oh, awesome. Awesome. What a great get, you guys. Great get, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, I can't get over this. Yeah, I got to get you some information because a couple of these I had no idea what they were. Because I can't remember numbers to save my life. Back in the 80s and 90s, we didn't have things to remember things for us, so we actually had to use our brains. And uh, nowadays, I've let my brain become very lazy. <laughs> so I can barely do math anymore. I'm what's, I'm like, what's one plus one, y'all? Can you help a girl out over here? Okay, now that I made a total ass out of myself, I'm going to cut you loose. Thank you. I hope you stuck around to the end. I know it was a long one. We're looking at about an hour. Uh, but I'll see you soon.